Welcome back to the WordPress tutorials for the SLCC ePortfolio. We're reaching the tail end of our journey here, but there are a few more things I wanted to cover. Uh, for instance, I want to talk about the My Goals page. I want to talk about uh, sharing the website with others, friends, family, and professors. Um, and I want to go through a couple of other things about widgets and also photo galleries. So first, let's talk about the My Goals page. Um, I've gone ahead and set up the My Goals page already, so we can just take a look at it and get some sense of what should go on this page. So you should have a heading on this page that talks about your short-term goals. And, you know, short-term goals for this semester, for the year, you should feel free to update this often. Um, and also your long-term goals, your career goals, your college goals, and so forth. And then also the SLCC's learning outcomes. And these are the college-wide learning goals. And uh, there will be a link pretty soon that you can create to go to the college's website where we do list those uh, learning goals and, and explain them. And so that's what your My Goals page should look like. Let's talk about uh, sharing this website with others now. Um, now, right now you're signed in, right? We, ha we know this because we have access to the My Dashboard and you can create new posts and all of that. So this is you signed into your account. But if we log out, then this is the actual site that others will see when they go to the address. So if you look up here, the address is scully09.wordpress.com. And so you can email this address to your friends and family. You can uh, give this email ad or this web address to your professor. And this is what they'll see when they sign on. Now, if you want to go back in, see we're logged off now, and, uh, and you might want to log back in. Well, you have to actually go back to WordPress.com to log in. So, and here you can sign in. So, Scully09 and password. And if you click into that, now you're back with the dashboard again. So that's the difference. So it's the same. Notice if you look up here, it's the same address, scully09.wordpress.com. The difference is now you're logged in. Um, so that's the difference between the website that you're not logged into, that other people are going to see, and you logging into the same address. What I actually do is I created a favorites page here that I could click on, and that, that's me already signed in. So I don't have to always go back to WordPress.com and sign in. So you might want to do that as well. Okay, so next, let's talk about widgets. Okay, uh, right along the right side of your web page, you've been probably noticing this the whole time we've been going. We have all this empty space here. This is what's called a sidebar. And uh, this is where all the widgets go for WordPress.com. And so let's go and look at what some of the widgets are. Well, let's go back into Dashboard. And click on Appearance. And remember, this goes into Manage Themes. But then there's also these other options. So let's look at, let's click on Widgets. And these you can just experiment with, play around with, but uh, for us right now, let's go ahead and add a calendar into the sidebar. So we take this, we click on it, and we just move block it to the sidebar and save. And so now when we go back to visit the site, you will see there's the calendar. One thing that's important to note, the widgets stay the same no matter what page you go to. Notice the calendar stays the same. So whatever the widgets are that you choose, just know that they're going to be, um, they're going to continue through on all the pages of your site. Okay, so to insert a photo gallery, uh, let's use the example of you were uh, you took a photography class and uh, your signature assignment was to compile a gallery of photos together uh, to represent a certain theme or 
or something like that. So let's go into general education and scroll down to our fine arts category and link over to the fine arts page. And I started out a signature assignment description here. Uh, we just need to add the gallery to it so we can scroll down and click edit. And here's how you create a gallery. Make a little space first and you go into the add images and WordPress has three gigabytes of space so there's actually quite a bit of space for you to have a media library of a lot of photos so that's actually kind of nice but to create the gallery you go to select files and you just start uploading the files that you want so I have the first one and as soon as that's done I'm immediately going to select another and allow that to upload and then we'll select another and we'll do one more Okay, so I am going to put four photo, these four photos into my gallery that I want to be the s signature assignment for the photography class. So what I do is I save all changes. So now I push this button, save all changes. And what that does is actually create a gallery for me. So now I can say, well, how many do I want to be on a single line? And there's only four, so I'm going to go ahead and make it four and I don't have a preference for the order that they come in so I'll just say random and then continue scrolling down and insert gallery and now we have a placekeeper here for the gallery so if you hit update and then view that page we can see how it looks on the site and there are our photos. If you click on each one they'll get larger. They'll show you the w ones that come before and after it so that's how you create a gallery and if you ever need any more support on the WordPress website um, always know that you can go into your my account and click on support and that will take you to the WordPress.com support page. So good luck on your ePortfolios and thanks for listening.